we're gonna do is uh, pull the tire off and don't worry about those pesky little bolts. They'll come off easy if you pull hard enough. Okay. Second thing you're gonna wanna do is get your little wrench. Uh, I'm using this uh, half craftsman size and to make sure it's on lefty loosey lefty loosey wait is that lefty loosey that's right okay so uh what we're doing here uh which i failed to tell you is we're going to change out the brake pads so you're going to want to find this little uh bolt right here you're going to want to uh, loosen it up good <coughs> Ugh. I like how there's just gunshots in the background. <laughs> it's okay to uh, make noises because it's hard labor and if you didn't, you'd be kind of a sissy. <laughs> the other ones were much easier than this. <laughs> Maybe we can pause the video and uh, yeah. we just took this out. And now we just need to take this out. Uh, and once you get both of these screws out, you're gonna wanna pull this bit off. And uh, it can be difficult. There's a piston in there that is uh, uh, compressed or decompressed, compressed or decompressed. Either way, pick one and we'll use the opposite for when we try and do the opposite of where it is now. Uh, but uh, because it's uh, these later models of Honda uh, are, um, are uh, they use a tw twisty thing, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will say this, multiple Honda are not Hyundai, they're Hondas. And not many people know that. Totally different car. Totally different car. All right, well, let's pause, let's pause. Filming? Filming? And then we're just gonna remove this here. And here you've got a, a little clamp, kind of keeps the, the brake pads in place. You're gonna wanna pop these out. You don't really need to use a screwdriver, but it's kind of fun using tools. So, I mean, you could do this with your hands, but why? You've got a screwdriver. You just pop them out. They're not really that worn. No, they're pretty worn. Ah, these ones are worn. I bet this is where the sound was coming from. Those awful squeals. Then you're gonna take, you're gonna pop these out. Come over here. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the new brake pads in. So, you need to get, uh, the new shiny uh, fuel holders they just pop right in. No time at all. It shouldn't take any time. Yes. Pop them right in. You're gonna do that uh, to the, the bottom and the top. And look, they even included new little holdery things. So. So this little rusty one, we can just, uh, you know, throw anywhere we want. <laughs> but the trash is preferable. Uh, then we're going to put this one in. It's best not to glitter. Don't glitter. So you pop this one in too. Alright, seems like it's in there. Next thing you're going to do is, you should have bought this little, uh, you know, packet of brake grease. Normal grease uh, can't withstand the heat and your brakes are, you know, they have to, they endure a lot of heat. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your new brake pad. Be sure never to put it on the part that actually uh, touches the rotor. You're only going to put it on the back side that where uh, it's rubbing against the piston and where all that heat is coming from. But you don't want to, you don't want your brakes to slip. So you only put it on the outside. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, we're also going to put a little bit of the grease in this little area here, this little area here, and on this edges. So they can slide in pretty good. Just like this. Easy peasy. Now you're going to get another one. This confused me at first, so it's good to know. The uh, This piece with the little metal goes on the inside of the car. So that that way, uh, it's it's never going to be on this side. Uh, now you don't have to figure that out. So we're just going to grease this one up. I think we can we can cut. You know. It's the top, back here, back here, just like on this side. Grease these edges, and you're just going to slide it in and cut. Bet it's already on band cam. Be sure you don't uh, put the brake pads in upside down they won't actually go but it will uh, take a lot of time out of your day <laughs> oh and uh, one last thing I forgot I, I did just grease up these pins to to put the, uh, this thing back on but what we need to do first is of course and I'm gonna set this here uh, on this rag now that I've greased it up so that you know we don't get dirt on it uh, but now what we have to do is to is to compress the piston uh, if we decided that it was called uh, decompressed in the first place or decompress the piston if we decided it was called compressed in the first place. So you need one of these, costs about 10 bucks at your local auto store and uh, you want this thing to go to the very end. What I'm going to use is my old brake pad. Spin to win. Oh, never mind. I forgot that this is the, the newer Honda and these back, uh, <laughs> these back pistons. <laughs> are actually uh, twisty. So much more fun. So you have to twist them to f compress or decompress them, which is a real drag. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, righty tighty. Remember folks, righty tighty. This isn't the right tool, but, but we don't have the right tool. But uh, thankfully, when I was working on the car, I chose to do it in the parking lot uh, of Hope and Sean's apartment complex. So they were here and they had all these tools that aren't the right tools, but they work. And um, but Green says any tool can be the right tool. Yeah, that's right. They also bought me lunch, <laughs> but I haven't told them that yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one I heard all day. We'll see, Sean. <laughs> okay. You want it to be flush with the outside bit of metal. And cut. Now we're just gonna put it back on. Should slide on pretty easy. You got these little uh, pins in here that you may want to push in to let it fits on there. And then uh, remember that one that I uh, greased up earlier. We're gonna put that in first. Put it in the top, and just kind of set it, set it in there loosely, loosely screwed in. So another generation of brake pads gives way to the next. <laughs> Nature's plan truly is beautiful. Grease up the next one. A lot of grease. Oh, you don't need a lot of grease. Just a few microns thick. That's what they said on YouTube. Now you're, uh, you may be watching this on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up, but you'll. I don't know why you wouldn't be watching a, a better version. But, you know, whatever. A more informative version. Come on, find the hole. Left feet. Right. Okay. 
you're going to want to tighten these to the exact specification uh, of the manufacturer. Uh, nobody really knows what that number is. It's, but you know you're gonna. Oh man. Okay. But you're gonna want to try and get you know close to what you think it is, which it could vary wildly. No matter, just make sure it's tight. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll put the wheel back on here, and you'll have you know new brake pads. Most cars are named Betsy. <laughs> this one's not, but most are. Another another tidbit of information. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and uh, catch you on the flip side.